We have the understanding that this is a shop. The science is important, but we're more interested in the act of creating things. Yeah, and you might want to wrap this whole thing with tape when you're doing it. So you said leave like this much? <laughs> yeah, that works. Me and science, we, it's two negative charges. Like, it does not work. Physical hand work in science, like building type of stuff, I could do stuff like that. We built a, a PVC pipe launcher, which runs off of a uh, bicycle pump. Uh, so it's a compressed air rocket launcher. I'm ready to go shoot it <laughs> in the air. How high do you think it's going to go? Well, uh, in theory, if done properly, it can go up to uh, 100 or more feet. Oh, I thought it was like 200. This would be the same process you would use to bury sprinklers, uh, pipe in the ground, or plumbing inside of your house or a motorhome. So those types of skills are real world skills that can be used either working around the home or better yet, eventually getting a job. It seemed like a, like a workshop class, like how he makes a little, um, little cow, dancing cow with just paper and tape. I was like, that's cool. Just spin it and it moves like up and down. Auto body classes are, are gone, wood shops are gone. This is maybe where the future of education is for us, unfortunately. We, we have to really reach out to organizations who are willing to fund these types of programs to reinvigorate interest in students maybe having a professional career after school. The money that people spend on things, you can spend like half of that and get it, but and make like, make your own. Yeah, have 50 PSI. All right, count it down. Five, four. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. Look out. If all we accomplish out of this entire semester is just a, a seed of knowledge, you know, to, to basically have them ask themselves, how do I do this? I would leave this, uh, this school very happy.